Hi guys, uh, yeah, you guessed it, Silverback. I'm here because I want to do a review on the game Black Ops 2. Now, I don't normally do game reviews. It's never anything that I've ever done. Um, so I'm just going to stick to the multiplayer and the zombie side of things. Uh, this is a game that I recorded uh, that I was playing on yesterday. And I want to try and get this done for you guys today. Uh, what do I think of Black Ops 2? Aesthetically pleasing. It looks very new, fresh and clean to your eye. The new layouts, the weapon layouts, the loadouts, the having the extra um, spots that you can take off your concussions and put in um, your... I know you can have another perk. There's a possibility of having six perks in total. Uh, weapons, hmm, okay, let's go, let's get to this, the weapons. I think the hit recognition is totally whack. Um, core is, um, well, y you could fire a whole clip into somebody, they turn around and pop you with a pistol in one shot. I don't understand where that is or how they're going to fix it, but obviously with all the, the bits that we're talking about, it will allow them to do that. Uh, I can't... It's really strange, to be honest, because I I started playing it first of all, and it was absolutely fine. And then all of a sudden, I was aiming at people, and I just couldn't hit them. Later in the day, it was a nightmare. I, you know, but you know, I'm sure that would be something that they work on. Uh, the other thing is spawns. The spawns are shot to shit. Excuse my language, but. They are. Some of the spawns are so bad that you, you know, it, it reminds me of, um, like then that spawn there. They shouldn't spawn there. It should be spawning with the pl other players like it, it has done in the past. It just reminds me of uh, Battlefield in the early days with their spawning. Or even worse, Medal of Honor. There are um, there are some good points to it. Uh, the kill streaks. Don't use the drone kill streak that will kill you. You'll see videos about that, but that will kill you. The actual kill streaks, or the point streaks, I should say now, are slightly strange. Um, the, it's really weird because you really got to get some points to get kills. As well as before, if you had hardline on, you, you know, instead of four, it'd be three kills. Now you've got at least looking at four to five kills on. A, a non-objective based game to get the start of your kill streaks. Uh, if you're playing objective based then yeah great you, you get a couple of object objectives and a couple of kills you can rank up yours really quickly but uh, you'll notice in a game of say uh, team deathmatch some people are only getting scores of I don't know 1800 well one of the kill streaks is 2100 so you can have some struggle to do that without, and if, as long as you have a lot of playing pants. Uh, yeah, that is my main thing. Right now, we're going to zombies. If you haven't played zombies, my question is, do you really want to bother? Um, there are different modes on it. I played the team mode yesterday. Um, I streamed that live. To be honest with you, I don't get it. I, the when you're playing team mode, they block they block you from using the box you know that you, it then continues until one team wins but you have to survive that round and keep going uh, I w wasn't too impressed with it however I did win the game so let's leave it on there then you've got transit or bus depot well I'm lost what, what is the point of that you get to a certain point and you're stuck you fall go through a shed fall down the hole and you're stuck um, yep, don't get that one either. Uh, the, the only one that I did like was the street one, um, which reminds me of the original Zombies. Uh, that was a good mode to play and really interesting. I really enjoyed doing that. But there isn't really anything else that I think that, well, that warrants you saying, oh yeah, Black Ops 2 is best game of the year. I, I, I'm sorry guys, I, I think it's a bit broken at the present moment in time and needs a bit of love and intention from the guys. Um, th th let's see what happens in the next coming days and see what they do. I'm sure there'll be an update as there always is and there'll be some tweaks and everything else. But, uh, you know, there are some cool features in it. There are a lot, of, again, I like the emblems that you can put on your guns and your gamer tags. 
and all the other little bits that you can make and build but to be honest with you I'm, I wouldn't say it would be game of the year and that was a mint grenade then I didn't see that, that was awesome yeah so please I, 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 I would say if you like Call of Duty in the game series then yeah it's worth a go I think it's better than Modern Warfare 3 graphics and aesthetically wise um, I haven't played the campaign yet but I'll give you a rundown on that once I've done it so cheers guys, carry on watching and hope you enjoy alright guys keep gaming UAV inbound. Be advised, hostile RCXD spotted. Hellstorm missile inbound. Hunter killer drone deployed. UAV inbound. this fight. Mission clock about to expire. Step up. 